morning, good morning. Um, grade nines, we're going to look at linear number patterns. Oh, a section that is so easy that you can really get eight, nine, ten marks easily. So um, you, you just need to understand. And lots of people are scared of it. Why? Because it contains all these TNs and an A and a D, all these variables. But as, as long as you know what the variables stand for, you can't go wrong. Okay, so I've just written up there linear number patterns and our cookie cutter mold, our equation that we're always going to use is Tn is equal to A plus D N minus 1. And how I teach it to my students, I always say Adeswa and Daniel sitting in a tree. N minus 1, that's the key. Okay, so if you, find, if you know somebody who's got a, a name starting with an A or a D, you place it in there and you say that it'll rhyme over and over to yourself to make sure that you can remember that. All right, okay, so let's quickly start. I'm going to start writing down a number pattern. Um, oopsie, okay, 5, 8, 11, 14. All right, and linear number patterns is always adding or subtracting to get to the next part. So we already know that A, oops, sorry, that A is the very first number in your pattern, in your sequence. So A is equal to 5. So what we need to find is this D over here, the difference. So you're going to ask term 2 minus term 1, you're going to add 3. How did I get from 8 to 11? I added 3. How did I get from 11 to 14? I added 3. So with linear number patterns, it will always have a first constant difference. So it means that the very first next step is always adding of the same number. When you get to grade 10, we do it in grade 10, but it's mostly grade 11 work. Um, you do quadratic number patterns and there it has a second constant difference. So here where you get to the, um, to the second part, it, uh, it's only a, a constant difference over there. But that's something to worry about when you get there. All right, so let's quickly go. We're going to go plug in our... Um, our values, we know that A is 5, we know that D is 3, we're going to plug that into our formula that we've le we've learned now. Aleswa and, oh, Adeswa and Daniel sitting in a tree, N minus 1, that's the key. So A is 5 plus 3, N minus 1. Okay, and then please people remember the distribution of the 3, the positive 3 into, goes to the n and the negative 1. So then we are left with Tn is equal to 5 plus 3n, and the positive 3 times a negative 1 is a negative 3. Then we're going to add and subtract our like terms to simplify this equation. So Tn is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2 plus 3n. And then I always say to my kids, highlight and make sure that your term, your general term stands out for yourself because that is what you're going to use going forward. Okay, but something very, very important is also that you can test your general formula that you've created. So that means if you go and put in the 5 here is position 1. Would you agree? That's position 1. The 8 year would be position 2. The 11 year would be position 3. Or term number 3, term number 2, term number 1. So then, where there's, there's an N, you're going to replace it with, um, with a 1. So if you put a 1 in there, it's going to be 2 plus 3 times 1, which will give you 5. Correct. Then you tested your first term value, sorry, your first term's value, which is 5. If you go and put a 2 in there, so 2 plus 3 times 2, so 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Sorry, take that out there. So 8, yes, we got that is correct. And if you go and put a 3 in there, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So you can just to test two or three just to make sure that your general term is correct. So you can yeah, test yourself and make sure that you've, you've written up the correct term, which means that you've distributed correctly, you've inserted, inserted the correct A and D value. 
All right, questions that they can ask after this. They can ask you, what would be the value of term 50? So what would be the value of the 50th term? So N, you, everywhere where you see an N, you're going to replace it with 50. So term 50 will have a value of 2 plus 3 times 50. So term 50 is equal to 2 plus 3 times 50 is 150 plus 2 is 152. So if you had to continue with this um, pattern, when you get to the 50th term, without going 5, 8, 11, 14, plus another 3, 17, 20, 23, without carrying on like that, we want to just jump ahead and, and see what would term 50 equal to. So you plug everywhere where you see an N, you replace it with a 50, and then you get the value. The other question they can ask you is, um, which term will have a value of? So I'm just going to write it here. Um, which term will have a value of 302. So what they're basically saying to you is they're giving you the answer. The answer is 302. So which term number will have a value of 302? So you're going to plug it into your formula. The answer is 302. 2 plus 3n. So we're looking for that n over there. So it's just like solving x, you throw the positive 2 over and it becomes a minus 2. So 300 is equal to 3n. And then what is happening to n? It's vibing, it's multiplying with the 3. What is the opposite of multiplying? Dividing away with 3. Okay, so n is equal to, oops, 100. So the hundredth term, let me just write that nicely. The hundredth term will have a value of 300. Okay, I hope that makes sense. We're going to look at one more um, um, number pattern where the pattern is going down. Okay, so as you can see, I've, I've written down the next number pattern. And instead of adding the whole time, we are deducting. So we know our A value is 6. Okay, but how did I get from 6 six? To the next number 2, I subtracted 4. How did I get from 2 to negative 2? I subtracted 4. From negative 2 to negative 6, I subtracted 4. So as you can see why it's linear, it's got a first constant difference. Okay, and then the way you can prove that as well is you say term 3 minus term 2 is equal to, so term 3 is negative 2 minus 2, um, mi minus 2 minus 2 gives you negative 4, sorry, and if you say term 2 minus term 1, 2 minus 6 is also negative 4, so you get a constant difference the whole time. Okay, so that's a way to prove that um, a number pattern is linear. All right, so the questions they can, uh, the first thing that we need to find out is we need to work out our general term. So we're going to write Tn is equal to Adeswa and Daniel sitting in a tree. N minus 1, that's the key. All right, and then we know that A is our first term's value, which is 6. And we know our D is negative 4. So that positive and the negative is going to make a negative 4. Okay, and that's why it's easier to do this with the D in the front. The D gets distributed from the front. Okay, let's quickly see. So let's replace those value, values. Tn is equal to 6 minus 4. N minus 1, that's the key. Now the negative 4 gets distributed in. Please make sure that a negative 4 times a negative 1 is going to give you a positive 4. So let's quickly do that. Tn is equal to 6 minus 4n. And a negative 4 times a negative 1 gives you a positive 4. So Tn is equal to 6 plus 4 is 10 minus 4n. Again, get your highlighter. Highlight your general term. This is what you're going to use going forward answering the rest of the questions. Okay, so let's see, let's take a purple, 
um, so they can ask you what would be the value of let's say term 20 um, whoopsie sorry <laughs> um, so term 20 will have a value of 10 minus 4 times 20 so if they ask you what term will have a value of, of um, oh, sorry what will the value be of term 20 Everywhere where you see a n, you replace it with a 20. So term 20 is equal to 10 minus 4 times 20, which is negative 80. So term 20 will have a value of 10 minus 80, which gives you negative 70. And as you can see, as this number pattern carries on and on and on, it will lead to negative 70. So if you've got like a positive number here as your answer, you can be almost sure that your answer is incorrect. Okay, so it has to give you a negative. So if you continue here and you get to term 20, that number that you would find there is negative 70. All right. Then they can also ask you which term will have a value of, let's say, negative 780. Okay, so now they ask you if the total is negative 780, which term number would that be? So you're going to replace the TN with negative 780, 10 minus 4N, and we are looking to find that N, and it's just like solving X. So we throw that positive 10 over, it becomes a minus 10, so negative 780 minus another 10 is 790. Oopsie. I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> um, which term will have a value of negative 790? I think that was the one that I... So let's just go back, 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 back. Sorry about that. Um, what did I say? Which term will have a value of negative 790? Sorry for that. Um, otherwise, it, it will. this answer should always give you a whole number. Okay, so term number 50 will have a value of negative 790 or um, term number 5 will have. So you can't, can't ever get a decimal here. Okay, so sorry, that, that would have been the question. <laughs> then you replace that into TN's value. So negative 790 is equal to 10 minus 4N. And then you're going to carry this positive 10 over becomes a minus 10 so minus 790 minus another 10 is minus 800 you see why i did that so that it gives you a nice whole number um, when you find for n okay so what is in front of the n that we don't want there a negative 4n what are they doing they're vibing they're multiplying so what is the opposite we divide away with negative 4 so that cancels out but what you do on the one side you have to do on the other side and that will give you n is 200 so again this must always be a positive number and um yeah should always give you a positive number and that is basically number patterns linear number patterns i will also make a video on um quadratic number patterns um especially when 10 10 going on to i don't yeah we do it in grade 10 already some schools only do it in grade 11 um but yeah so if you want to learn more about number patterns look out for that and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day thanks a eh? bye